Hello, my friends. Welcome to the West Real Estate Program. You know, people say to me, Peter Rosethorn, what do you know about real estate? And I say nothing, nothing at all. That's why I'm hosting this program, because I can get advice from professionals involved within the industry. Today, I find myself once again in Seabird. Ah, drying my wings again, I have friends, drying my wings. Because Seabird's a lovely spot, about an hour north of Perth. We'll look in more detail in a minute. Here's what the rest of the team are up to this week. Spring is here, and today I discover a way to maximise your great outdoors. Today I discover the art of making large areas in your home look stylish and feel cosy. And I check out a home that's zoned with a growing family in mind. Thank you team, I'm here once again in beautiful Seabirds, a back-to-back -back professional special and with the wonderful Dave Hobo. Hey, good to see you again. Now can you, just uh, I've been thinking over the last week or so, who makes the most decisions in regards to buying real estate? Is it the male or the female? Happy wife, happy life, you know that Pete. It's the girly women, 76% of decisions in real estate are made by women. Right. And that's why the Professionals Real Estate Group are the number one sponsor of breast cancer in this state. We've raised nearly $2 million, and each time we sell a property or we manage a property, part proceeds go to find a cure for breast cancer. I love it. We love the culture, and that's what we're all about. Great Something else you're going to love. What, what am I doing right? Is Annette Nichols selling some fabulous holiday property. You know how I love the Rocky River Rebel. Yeah, you Rocky River Rebel, what me to do? She's over at the Seabird Caravan. Yeah. Go and have a look. See if you can pick yourself out a property where you can relax a bit. Is it true that all the vans have a different shape of a different bird? Like yeah. there's the peacock van, there's yeah. the sea. There's all that sort of stuff. Hippies, there's even hippies. Out. Hippie van. Hello, Annette. Hello, how are you? Excellent. Now, Seabird, oh, let's go over the Seabird facts. How far is Seabird out of Perth? Seabird's about an hour's drive from Perth, which is really quick. And might I say it was an easy drive too. Yeah, it's, it's a not nice very drive. Ridey. No. And it's some, it's some nice things to look at in the way too. Now we arrive in Seabird. It's, it's a leisurely trip. Now, holiday time. Is this, is this a throng of activity? Is a lot going on? It is on? in the peak seasons, Christmas and school holidays. It's really, really busy. Lots of families like to holiday up here, so it's a lovely place. Now we're in the caravan park and. Uh, are these for sale? Can you actually buy them? Yeah, there are properties for sale. There's park homes and caravans and they range from a wide variety of sizes. So three bedrooms through to just one bedroom. And each uh, caravan or an annex or park home has its own ensuite, private ensuite, which is great. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. We'll go through those a little later on the show, shall sure. we? Sure. But first up, here's Lisa at 740 Designs. Hello, Lisa. How are you? Renovation is one of the major things you can do to your homes to give it a fresh new look. This place by Canbuild Homes has been transformed from a two bedroom single storey house into a four storey masterpiece with over 15 living spaces. And of course, all those living spaces need to be furnished. Now, I'm told there's an art to making large spaces feel homely and cosy, and this place has got it just right. So let's take a look around. Decorating such large houses can be very challenging. You want to create intimate, functional spaces without them being over cluttered or so empty it feels like you're in a gymnasium. It is a nice challenge to have though. After all, who doesn't love more space? So you can either do it yourself or you can enlist the help of an interior design specialist. Through careful selection of furniture and attention to detail, 740 Designs have transformed this home into a chic and elegant masterpiece. When furnishing and decorating such a large home, it's important to constantly captivate the eye. Using large sleek furniture and floor rugs will help fill spaces and decorating your walls and cushioning up your lounges will help develop your interior. Occasional pieces such as side tables, consoles, buffets, sculptures and throw rugs are also great for filling empty spaces. So Alex, you've helped furnish this amazing home. Yeah. I've noticed in the larger living spaces you've actually pulled the furniture away from the walls. Yeah. Is this a trick to, to help make the room feel cosier? Well yeah, generally they like to float the lounges off the wall just to give the room a little bit of flow and a feeling of spaciousness. In this room particularly, we've arranged the furniture so that you don't walk into the back of the lounge when you enter the room and don't close off the space. 
And so this is a family room, again yeah. another big space, but yeah. you've still managed to keep it cosy with the furnishings and the warm colours. Yeah, well here we've created a multi-dimensional space with layering, as you can see with the side tables and the wall art aligned. We've created some visual structure, but then we've gone for a point of difference with the um, different furniture combinations. We've got a rolled arm chaise, we've got quite a sleek TV unit here and a timber coffee table, just to mix it all up. And there's four bedrooms in this house, yeah. all quite sizey. So yeah. how have you uh, managed to keep these feeling homely? Well, we've added floor rugs into most rooms just to warm up the space and give it that little homely touch, as well as a few occasional pieces such as console workspaces and chairs, just to show the versatility of the space. Well, it's a great result, and in this instance, it was actually the builder that approached you to hire your furniture. Yeah, we've been dealing with Canbuild directly, who have hired our furniture to showcase their work. Great. So if you've recently renovated or upgraded and find yourself staring at your new large empty rooms wondering what you're going to do with all that extra space, then it might be a good idea to give Alex and the team at 740 Designs a call to help get your creative juices flowing. Because let's face it, if you build a castle on the outside, you have to get it right on the inside too, otherwise it'll ruin the whole appearance of your home and leave you feeling very dissatisfied. For more information, you can always hop on our website, thewestrealestateprogram.com.au and follow the links. Thank you, wonderful Lisa. And after the break, Sarah's going to show us through a wonderful Gemmel home. Oh, that's pretty wonderful too, isn't it? Two wonderfuls at once. Welcome back to the West Real Estate Program. Now here's Lisa, who's become very, very chummy with our friends at Thrifty. Let's have a look. This season we are proud to have our friends at Thrifty Car and Truck Rentals on board the program. Thrifty are the moving specialists. Moving is now a do-it-yourself job that is not only affordable but easy. They have the latest models of automatic moving vans, utes and trucks that can be driven with a standard car licence plus their moving vans have back saving furniture lifters. They can also supply you with boxes, bubble wrap, rope and trolleys. They've got everything you need. In fact, West Australians consider Thrifty their number one choice when they need to move. So do it yourself and do it with ease with Thrifty. If you're part of a growing family, you'll know that having your own personal space is fundamental for your sanity. You need somewhere for you, somewhere for the kids, as well as an area where you can all have fun. If this is you, then you're going to love The Woodbridge by our friends at Gemmel Homes. This home won Best Display Home in its price category for the Master Builders Association. And with four bedrooms and two bathrooms, it's the perfect balance of indoor and outdoor living. Craig, there's definitely a theme going on here. There's so much space. Well, what we tried to achieve here, Sarah, is the kitchen is really the, the hub of the home, the central part. And we've got the, the theatre running off here. We've got the family area, the dining area, a study, a big walk-in pantry. So it's all happening right here with this one. But what about if you need some time out? That's the best thing about this home. We've really separated it into a couple of very comfortable zones. So I'd like to show you that if I can. That'd be great. This way. Here we are, Sarah. Welcome to the parent zone. This room is fantastic in, in a lot of ways. We've got a huge ensuite, huge walk-in robe off here, and then direct access for the parents straight out onto the alfresco. So it really works really well here. But it's the little touches throughout the home that really caught my eye. The dropped bulkhead in the kitchen with down lights along the curve adds a touch of elegance, complementing the breakfast bar. And this two-way heater looks like a work of art. It heats the living room and the alfresco, ensuring outdoor entertaining the whole year round. Craig, this home is particularly focused on rear living. Is this something you find West Australians are after in home design? Oh, definitely, Sarah. And what we've managed to do here, it's a little bit selfish for the parents with this home because we've got direct access off the master bedroom. We've got access again off the family area. And we've got this brilliant fireplace here that just interacts between the family area and the alfresco living area. So it works really well. With the Woodbridge, your family will live comfortably and amicably for many years to come. It's here in Byford, about 45 minutes from the city. So take a Sunday drive and come on down from 1 till 5 p.m. today. Or go to westrealestate.com.au and follow the links to Gemmel Homes.
the West Real Estate Program is happy to announce the winner of our half house heating competition. Congratulations, Bruce McCulley of City Beach. You've won a heating package including a gas log fire and outdoor heater valued at almost $10,000. Thanks to Half House, the home of heating and cooling solutions. Over the past year on the show, I've had the chance to explore quite a few neighbourhoods and, and what I've found is that some of them have a very common thread. In fact, I'm convinced it's more than that. I think it's in the DNA of Perth homeowners to put as much passion into every single inch of their plot as they possibly can, to the point of being competitive. Keeping up with the Joneses comes to mind. You want to see how I beat them? Follow me. Those perfectly presented, almost enchanting gardens are no coincidence. It's most likely that behind the scenes is a team of architects, designers, horticulturalists and tradesmen. Look for the logo on their van, don't be surprised if it reads Tim Davies Landscaping. With over 70 staff, Tim and his team really do set the bar when it comes to all things outdoors. Now each area is individually designed to not only suit the conditions of the block, but also complement the homeowner's lifestyle. And they do it all, from designer pools, to decking, to al fresco, even the lighting. But to take it that extra mile and recognising the lack of free time we genuinely have to keep our property looking its best, TDL offers a complete maintenance service too. So Tim, it starts at the design phase, getting it right in the beginning, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, very much so. We work very closely with our clients, understanding how uh, they and their families are going to use the space. So Perth is unique to other states. Is there certain considerations here in the West? Yeah, very much. Perth is, is a, a very interesting climate. It's very different from the rest of Australia. We've got very sandy soils. We've got very harsh conditions. It's all about getting the soil right and getting lots of organic material in, lots of fertiliser in, getting a really comprehensive irrigation system that's well balanced, delivering the right amount of uh, water to the plant. Do you have an ongoing relationship with your clients? I mean, with regard to maintenance, I suppose? Uh, we do. We, we assist our clients in uh, understanding and educating them about their gardens, and then we also provide an ongoing maintenance service looking after the lawns and gardens. As anyone with the slightest green thumb would know, a garden is always vulnerable to an attack by pests or disease. Now, the best way to shield yourself is to be vigilant. Checking your plant's health and treating problems before it's too late is the best defence. Now, of course, Tim's team can do all this for you. In fact, you don't have to lift a finger if it's simply not something you're comfortable with or if time's not on your side. Anyone in that category will be happy to learn they'll also take complete responsibility for the pruning and the fertilising when the time comes. Although I've always thought gardening is the perfect alternative to a gym membership. Now, if you live outside the city, TDL has the resources to take on any size project anywhere in this country. Now, I must say, it's an absolute pleasure browsing their website. So do yourself a favour, get online and go to thewestrealestateprogram.com.au and from there you can follow the links. Thank you Dan, wonderful landscaping work. I knocked this up this afternoon, not a bad effort I thought. After the break, I'm back with the wonderful Annette from the professionals. We're in beautiful Seabird which I'm enjoying a lot. See you then. Welcome back to the West Real Estate Program. I'm with the wonderful Annette, and we're in Seabird. Hello. We're having our double back-to-back -back week Seabird experience. Oh, oh. What am I standing in front of, Annette? This is a park home here, beautiful mm. three-bedroom park home. Nice open plan kitchen lounge room area, which is great. And not only that, it's, in a, it's on a nice corner block, I can see. It is. But nice it's also block. within this caravan park, so you get to use the amenities. So I presume there's a pool? There is. There's tennis courts. There's a recreation centre with pool table, table, tennis table. Oh, fantastic. Which is great, yeah. And all the grounds are looked after by a caretaker, so it's just a lock and leave. It's great. OK, my price game. I'm playing the price game now. Here we go. I've been pretty good, I reckon, so far in Seabird. Not Super. bad. Uh, yeah. Uh, hmm. I'd say 380. Pretty close. These yeah. are selling this one particularly for around about 365, which That's is great. Bad. That's great. Yeah, it's not too it bad is. at all. Hang with me, Annette. We're coming sure. back. But I first up, we've got to go and see Lisa, and she's at El Cabello. It's a lifestyle village. Well, Cabello, Blanca, I'm just a bird in the sky. That's it. And no one can take my freedom away. <laughs> Whether you're into golf or not, living near a golf course is considered pretty prime real estate and it's not hard to see why. 
you are surrounded by open spaces and beautifully manicured lawns. And if you are into golf, you have access to your favourite hobby in an instant. Well, right now I'm standing in front of a brand new estate set amongst 200 acres of Premier Golf Course. That's right, you could be sipping your morning coffee alongside the 18th hole at the brand new master plan community, El Cabello Lifestyle Village. Set in the picturesque Avon Valley just 45 minutes from the city, El Cabello is set to become one of the most exciting and feature-packed lifestyle villages in Australia. It will be the essence of country club living and is surrounded by 18 holes of international quality golf course. You will have plenty of opportunities to meet new friends at Al Cabello's huge range of facilities. Already here are a gymnasium, function rooms, tennis courts, health and beauty treatment rooms, a cocktail lounge with a grand piano and open fireplace and a restaurant overlooking the pool and spa. Stage two will see the development of even more facilities, such as a clubhouse, two lawn bowls areas, an arts and crafts centre and learning kitchen where you can get together and share cooking secrets, and for the men, there's two fully equipped workshops. There's even a cinema with a massive 25 foot screen for watching movies and big sporting events. It is just like being at the movies really, only there's no ticket booth at the entrance. I wonder if they've got Kath and Kinderella. El Cabello Lifestyle Village is approved for 181 homes and Stage 1 is now complete. Here to tell us more is Managing Director Matthew Pavlinovich. So Matthew, 45 home sites have been developed for Stage 1. How many have sold? Lisa, 11 have been sold and the first of those residents are moving in as we speak. And uh, we have 11 different designs of one, two and three bedroom homes and some of those have got studies. And the prices range from 229000 to 369000 in the first stage. Okay, and they're all built by um, quality builder Fleetwood Homes. What's included in the package? The homes are energy efficient, built on concrete bases, steel frames and quality fittings throughout. The homes at El Cabello are designed with open planned living spaces and they all feature high ceilings, stainless steel appliances and stone bench tops as a standard. They're completed to include floor coverings, internal painting and window treatments and the gardens are looked after so the residents are free to move in and enjoy the lifestyle straight away. The display village is open from 10am to 4pm daily, so if you've ever wondered what it could be like living in a relaxed country lifestyle village with everything at your fingertips, then come and take a look for yourself. For more information, just hop on our website and follow the links to El Cabello Lifestyle Village. Thank you, Lisa. And after the break, I'll be back with the wonderful Annette from the Professionals here in wonderful Seabird. Welcome back to the West Real Estate Program. I'm with the wonderful Annette from the Professionals. We're in Seabird as we Hello. have been for a couple of days. We have. We've had a while of a time. It's great up here. Tell me about your relationship with Seabird. How much of the property market do you sort of control? I sort of hold about 90% of the market share in Seabird, which is Gee. which is great. Hello, you're queen of the domain yeah. up here, aren't you? <laughs> Mirror of your patch. <laughs> <laughs> now you've got, and we've got to stay in front of another one of your properties yes, behind we us are, now. Yes, yes. And uh, is it just these uh, freestanding dwellings, or do you have caravans? I've got a number of park homes such as this for sale, but there are caravans as well, which is really good. Nice range of properties. Plus the properties we've seen in town as well. That's right. Wow. It's a lovely place, it's got a lovely feel as a city, as, a, as, a new, as, a, as an area. It's got a nice cross between being a holiday village and a, and a, and a lifestyle choice. That's right, yes. Yeah, people do retire up here and also holiday, which is great. Annette, you've been a gas. Thank you. You are the queen of seabird and many other things. Wonderful. Now here's Lisa and she's talking to John Perkadone. I'm back once again with John Perkadani from Realmark and today John I want to talk to you about the emerging trends of the baby boomers and how they're affecting the marketplace. Sounds interesting. So how have you seen the trends changing when it comes to this generation? Well I think the baby boomers are known not to do what their parents have done so I'm sure they're not going to be any different when it comes to housing. 
Yeah. So are they exploring their options more? Or? Uh, certainly, I think they're, obviously they're a big force in the marketplace and they're reaching a point now where they're probably in homes that maybe they don't necessarily want anymore. Mm -hmm. So I think they're going to make some choices around whether they stay in those homes or move on to other choices. So do you mean like the apartment style buildings or? Uh, certainly, I think whether it's a, a sea change or a lifestyle change yeah. in terms of city living, I think they're certainly out there to, to consider those options. But I think it's not only about that, I think it's also about liberalising the capital that's held in those large properties as well. So will we see more baby boomers renting? I think that's a possible trend as well. I think that they, they will, will consider the value judgement about whether it's probably better to rent, have the lifestyle that they maybe want mm. and uh, utilise the capital that's uh, locked up in the old established home. And does this mean there'll be uh, more bigger houses on the market? Oh, look, I'm sure that's going to be the case. I'm sure that they're not going to do what their parents did and stay in their homes until to yeah. the end. I yeah. think that they'll liberalise those homes and uh, that'll mean there'll be more established homes on the market yep. for first home buyers and buyer buyers. So first home buyers won't have to go and build in sticks anymore, they might be able to buy something closer to the city. They might well find that there's better value for money in established homes coming onto the market and that, that's a dynamic shift in the market. Well thanks once again, we'll catch up with you next week. Look forward to it. So if you're looking for the advantage, whether you're buying, selling or renting your investment property, head to realmark.com.au. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, John Perkadani. Always brilliant. Uh, that's all we've got time for this week. Thank you to the people of Seabird. They've been very friendly whilst we've been here. Arr, to you. Arr. Uh, if you'd like to find out about anything you've seen on today's program or past programs, go to our website, westrealestateprogram.com and follow all the links and prompts and whatever. Have a great rest of your weekend. We'll see you next time. And that's a wrap.